In this episode of Automower Answers, we take a look at the hot topic of can you add a second battery to a 430X automower? Back in 2016, when the 400 series of automowers were first introduced here in the United States, long before the 450X models had actually arrived to dealers in the United States, the question was, can we put a second battery in the 430X? If they have the same chassis and they have the spot for the second battery, why can't we just put another one in there to increase the runtime on the 430X? The talks of a second battery in a 430X died down, but then resurfaced again here in 2018 when the new version of the 430X came out with the Automower Connect package already installed and with the headlights already installed, making it look just like a 450X for the most part. People again started to say, well, why should I pay the $800 more when really I'm only getting ultrasonic sensors and another battery? Why can't I just buy the 430X, spend the money to put another battery in there, and have the same unit? Well, there's a little bit more to it than that, and there's a little bit more to the whole system than just adding that second battery. The big difference between the 450X and the 430X, of course, is the ground speed. The 450X has a faster ground speed, so while it is out mowing, it covers a lot more area in that amount of time. It also does a little bit better on the hills because it has more momentum due to the higher ground speed. So, show of hands, who has ever split open a 430X automower, put the second battery in there because it has room for it, right? Plugged it into the motherboard because it has the plug for it, right? Put the mower back together, powered it on, and got an error message that says battery problem because instantly, as soon as that thing powered on, it knew there was an extra battery in there and there shouldn't be, right? That's what happens every time you try that in a 430X. Whether it's the old version or the new version, that's what you get, right? Yeah, you tried it, you know. Yeah, don't be shy. So before we get into whether or not we actually can make a second battery work in a 430X, Let's talk about the reasons why they have it set up to not work from the factory when you plug a second battery in. The first one is because it's going to take longer to charge that mower up. Yeah, you're going to gain a little bit more runtime, but you're going to double your charging time. So you're going to go from 45 minutes to an hour of charge time all the way up to two hours of charge time because you've got two batteries in there now, and the transformers are different between the 450 and the 430X. So it's not going to put as much amperage through to charge the second battery as fast as it does with a 450 charger. The next one is the mower is going to be able to run at a higher ground speed now. It doesn't have ultrasonic sensors on it like the 450X, so it's just going to be crashing into the stuff at full speed. The ultrasonic sensors on the 450X are to detect objects on the sides and in front of the mower so it knows to slow down before it bumps into them. This protects the mower and keeps the uh, electronics inside the mower from having that huge shock and jar of hitting something full speed ahead. That's something you got to consider. Another one is when it comes time then to replace the battery in this thing, you know, a battery's lifetime in one of these 430Xs or a 450X is about five to seven years. So when that time comes, do you really want to replace two batteries at once? Or do you just want to replace the one battery? Because the mower does the job just fine on one battery. Why have to spend the extra money then to replace the second battery at that time? So chances are, once you go to replace, once, it's, once it comes time to replace batteries, you're really going to replace one of them anyway because you know you only need one. That's how we are. We're not going to spend the extra money to replace that second battery because... It's going to be, what's the point? You know, we already know it can do it with one battery. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend the extra money for that second one. Just leave it out this time. So, again, why go through this hassle to add that second battery when you're not going to end up using it later on down the road anyway? So those are a couple of the big reasons right there why this just isn't worth doing. Um, so now we'll get into, can you actually make a second battery work in a 430X? Yeah, you actually, you can. But, again... Is it going to be worth it? Well, we've already talked about those reasons there why from the factory it doesn't just plug in and work because these are the reasons why they don't want you to do it. But here's the other reason why it just isn't worth the time to do it. It's not worth it from a money standpoint. What you're going to have to dump into this mower 
to make this work. So what's it going to cost to add this second battery and actually make it work? Well, let's start with the battery, which is well over $200 currently. Now, every year the price on these comes down a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. But still, right now it's well over $200 for a battery. You also have to replace the motherboard because your motherboard carries the serial number that comes with your mower. So the motherboard that is in the mower will have to have the serial number for a 450X so that the motherboard knows that it can work with a second battery. For those of you who didn't know, the motherboard is the same part number when you buy a replacement one, whether it's a 430X or a 450X. It's the same board when you get it brand new as a replacement part. Once you enter that serial number, that's what tells it whether it's a 450X or a 430X and whether or not it can allow that second battery to work. And it doesn't just stop there. There's also another part internally here, which we are not going to mention, that will have to be replaced that works with the motherboard to determine which model of software is being used on those two boards. So, and if you haven't caught on to this yet, you would also need access to AutoCheck 3 to be able to program the new board, to enter that serial number, to do all that stuff. Then you're also going to have to replace the seal around the two pieces of the chassis. And if you try doing this at home, not only do you have not have access to AutoCheck 3 to do anything with the uh, board you have to replace, but you're also going to void your warranty. So all that's out the window. Then even if you did do all this stuff, even if you had all this available to you and you could do all these things, you still got a mower now that does not charge efficiently. In order to get this mower to charge more efficiently because you have the second battery, you can't just buy the power supply for a 450X because that power supply will not work with the low voltage cable, which runs between the power supply and a charging station. So you would have to replace the power supply, the low voltage cable, and the charging station in order to get this thing to charge efficiently with the second battery in there. So you're talking well over that $800 difference that you would spend buying a 450X over a 430X. So is going to the trouble to add a second battery to the 430X really worth it? Not at all. Definitely not. But if you really, really wanted to and really, really had the desire to do this, of course you can do it. You know, I mean, really, what isn't possible? But again, it's just not worth it. And it's just not something that's practical. So we hope we've been able to help you guys out that have been wondering what you can do with the uh, 430X to get a second battery to work or if you can or how you can. Um, first off, it's not worth it. You're going to spend way more than you would to just buy the 450X um, in the first place over the 430X. Second of all, you're not going to have the ability to do any of the things needed to make everything work because you would have to be a dealer in order to make that happen. Third of all, even if you're a dealer, there's still a few more pieces to this puzzle that we didn't mention that you would have to do. And we just didn't mention them because, well, we can't give away all the secrets, you know. So as always, feel free to leave some comments on this video. Or if you have any other questions or comments, shoot us an email at automowerinfo at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll be talking to you soon.